Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we are sipping on the most recent release of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This son of a batch is labeled Batch B522, and this is the second time I'm reviewing this bottle. Why is it the second time, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. The first time I reviewed the bottle, I was not a fan. I threw this bottle under the bus, and this son of a bee put up quite the fuss. But upon editing that video, I realized a few things. That video was bad. I decided to scrap that review and just try it again, because I believe that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has to be better than that. So will the second go around be any better than the first? Who's to say? I'm gonna give it my best and hope it's not the worst. America. <laughs> Nailed it. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is basically my favorite bourbon on the planet. I love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof so much. Has my love for this label decreased over the last year and a half? Yes, it has, because it has not been as good as before. This batch, B522, is of course 12 years old and rings in at an even 121 proof. I was a fan of the first release in 2022, the A batch, A122, while others weren't so kind with their reviews. Today, it's the B batch, the second batch of the year. Is this gonna be a good batch? or one naughty batch. Sweet, oaky, mm, yes. Caramels, caramels and nougat. It's like a hammered Three Mouseketeers bar. A Little bit of a nut, like one of those white chocolate zero bars. I do love the nose on this. The nose on B522 is phenomenal, it's so good. Dark fruits, a little bit of almond, now let's put it down the hatch to see if this B is a good or bad batch. Here we go. I'm enjoying this much more than I enjoyed it the first time I reviewed it. It seemed to be a little bit flat. That, unfortunately, I'm still getting that flatness today. There's no spike in the mid palate. There's no spike of flavor. There's no spike of extraordinariness. Extraordinariness? We'll go with that. It's not overwhelming. It's not stupendous. It's not tremendous. It doesn't blow your mind or blow anything else. But the flavors that are there are very good. It's a very alcohol forward brown sugar. For 121 proof, it's very approachable. It's very approachable. It's not an extreme sport 121 proof bourbon. It's more like dating a guy named Steve. Not exactly exhilarating. Has a six disc CD changer in his Ford Taurus, but will wow you with all the information he has and is willing to share about Kenny Rogers. This is Steve. It's good. It's safe. It's lovable but you're not getting it on with Steve in the bathroom stall at a Coyote Ugly. Steve is more of a footsie at an Olive Garden type, but still good, still good. If I came across a second bottle of it, would I purchase a backup? Probably not. I probably would not buy a backup of B522, although I do think it is good. I'm just not overly in love with this batch. I guess I'm just getting pickier and pickier in my old age. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B522 receives a score from me tonight of... First out, inner last. 7.2. Four. Don't take my word for it. Some people out there absolutely love this batch. Some people out there absolutely hate this batch. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just think it's pretty good. It's a good bourbon. 
it's a good barrel proof bourbon. I'm definitely going to drink it and I'm definitely going to enjoy it. But I'm not going to rave about it because it's not worth raving about. Not over here. Not in this garage. So that's my review of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B522. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on meatloaf. I love a good meatloaf, except for the meatloafs that are bad. I'm more of like a sweet meatloaf kind of guy. Sweet meatloaf with barbecue sauce or ketchup. And I'm also more of an oats fan in the meatloaf than I am breadcrumbs. Call me crazy, but I do love some old-fashioned oats in my meatloaf. The savory meatloaf with the gravy? It's okay. I will still eat it. I will still eat the whole loaf, but not as fast as I'll eat a sweet loaf meatloaf. If you're on Team Meatloaf, hit the thumbs up. If you're not on Team Meatloaf, hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I don't talk about the notification bell very often because I think that that is pretty pretentious. But I feel like I'm being pretentious today anyway. So hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I put out a new video or when I go live every Friday night at 10 p.m.